Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about this building insulation stuff that we have been hearing about for years and years and a lot of you out there use it. And you know my stand on it. We don't allow it. We don't use it. And I have a study here that we will post with this video. And it was a study that talks about the mineral wool products and how they should be more closely looked at and what some agencies have classified them as carcinogens. And I've been saying this for years. These materials that we have are the replacement for asbestos. And we all know the history of asbestos. We, we heard what happened when the trade towers came down because of the 9-11 attacks. We heard how many people that were first uh, responders are now sick and dying from the chemicals and the insulation and the asbestos that was used in the buildings. Asbestos is now outlawed. Well, since asbestos was outlawed, we have a new product, a new term that's in the marketplace, and it's man-made vitreous fibers. Okay, so MMVF is the acronym for those. And what are they? They're fibrous, inorganic substances made from rock, slag, glass, ceramic fibers. These fibers are lighter than air. You inhale them. I talked to a, a friend of mine who's a cardiologist and lung specialist. He says the bad thing about these fibers is they're inorganic. They get in your lungs, and your lungs just doesn't know what to do with them. So it puts a coating of mucus over them. So they never leave your lungs. You can't <coughs> cough and expel them. They're in your lungs. And over time, that's what causes cancer. That's what causes cancer with asbestos. They even used to put asbestos in baby powder that women use for personal hygiene. And now they're developing uterine cancer. So this stuff is very toxic. Okay, I don't care what they classify it as. I don't care what agency says what about it. You got to remember, these are big companies. Owens Corning, DuPont, so they have a lot of leverage. And they keep the processing and they keep the definitions below the legal things. But you, you see that it's, it's not good. It's a lie, basically. That's why we don't allow them in any of our projects. Well-known brands, Rockwell, Iceover in Europe is a big brand, 703, 706. We, we're familiar with those. I see them every day in people's rooms. Their function is a building insulation function. It's to keep heat and cold trapped in your room. They're meant to be installed inside of a containment structure, a wall. They were never designed to be used as a sound absorption technology. But the industry has perverted it because it's cheap. It does absorb sound at very poor rates and levels for music and voice. And it's toxic. So just don't use it out there. It won't work like you think it will. And most of it is toxic, okay? And remember, it's lighter than air. And anything lighter than air, whether you put fabric over it or not, is going to get out. I got a call from a client. He was com his wife was complaining about the ductwork in their home because she taught piano lessons to 7th and 8th and 9th graders. What did he do to solve the problem? He lined the ductwork with 703. So when the air conditioning came on, all those fibers blew through the ductwork and entered the room into the lungs of the children. So you got to be very, very careful with this stuff, okay? It's classified as a car carcinogen by the IARC, which is an agency in Europe. So it's almost entirely banned in Europe, okay? Here's a quote from a toxicologist, okay? I don't remember the name, but we'll put it up on the screen so you can see. He's very concerned about these products, okay? And then here's a quote about the installation instructions. You have to protect yourself. You have to cover your body because it's irritating. And people tell me this all the time. 
It's irritating to your skin. Well, if it's irritating to your skin, do you want it in your house? Do you want it in your room? Do you want it in your studio? I mean, let's use a little common sense here and not let money override health concerns, which, I mean, there's an equation you could apply to life all the way across the board, okay? So, and then here's another quote from the agencies classifying it as a carcinogen. So be very, very careful with this stuff. Don't use it, period. Why take the chance? It's not worth it. Yes, it's cheap, 50 cents a square foot or something like that, you know, but is it worth the health risk, you know? These are not natural fibers. They're made from rock, slag, glass, ceramic, fibers, the slag. Let me give you an idea. When I was in high school, in the summertime, there was a steel plant in the, the town I grew up in. And every summer, they shut down those big buckets that they pour, they heat the, the molten, you know, the steel up and they pour it into molds and stuff and that's what gives us our steel. And we were in charge of going inside the buckets which by the way, were, had not been used for two weeks because it took two weeks for them to cool down because of the high temperatures they used. The inside of these buckets were lined with copper covered bricks to protect the surface of the bucket. We wore asbestos suits and went in two man teams inside these buckets after they were shut down for two weeks and jackhammered these copper covered bricks out of the inside lining of the bucket. And I always remember my brother and I, I would run the jackhammer, he would set it because the heat was un unbearable. You could light a cigarette off the wall still. And we were in there in asbestos suits. So I would set, the, he, I would run the jackhammer, he would set on the brick, blah, 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 then I'd do it. Then we changed positions, 20 minutes, that's all we got, 10 minutes, 10 minutes each working. Then we had to come out and rest because the heat was so intense. This is called slag. This is the material they make this product, these products out of. Why in God's name would you ever want that in your house? So be very, very careful here. Look at this study. We're gonna post it on this video. Look at the warnings these well-educated people are talking about. And disregard what the manufacturers are telling you because they're trying to sell product, okay? Just like I'm trying to sell product, but I don't have any products that are harmful to your health. Our carbon technology is carbon-12. That's the same carbon your body is made out of. So it won't give you cancer. And our foam technology won't either. We don't use any toxic materials in that. So stay away from this stuff. It's cheap. But the rates and level of absorption are not conducive to music and voice, so you don't really want them in your room. I can't tell you how many calls I get every day. Well, I built these rock 703, 706 panels and put them in my room and my room sounds horrible. Sure, because they overabsorb. They don't have the proper rates and level of absorption. And they're not, you can build them 20, 24 inches thick and they're still not gonna absorb enough low frequency energy. So. Stay away from these building installations. They're very, very dangerous. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.